Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to solve two exercises concerning the simplification of two block diagrams to obtain the transfer function. This is the block diagram of the first exercise. Observe that our objective here is to find the C of S over R of S. Let's go. Let's begin solving the first exercise. Observe that C of S is equal to y of s plus z of s. Let's write it here to not lose track of what we're doing. Okay? As a reference, we're going to say that c of s is equal to y of s plus z of s. And observe also that y of s is g1 of s times x of s. Okay, y of s is x of s times g1 of s, and z of s is x of s times g2 of s. Alright, based on this, we are going to do the following move. We are going to pass, we are going to jump g1 over d2 okay this is going to be the first move that we are going to do here Here I put the error. Okay. Here the output. From here to here. And here directly there. And here I put. This, okay? This is Z of S. All right. No. Yes, 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 yes. Z of S goes here and goes here. All right. Everything is correct. Here is X of S. Okay. Now we need to prove that this move is right. We are going to prove this, okay? Observe again, observe again that z of s is equal to g2 of s times x of s, okay? Where is z of s? z of s is here. This is z of s. And we wish to prove that z of s is equal to g2 of s times x of s. Yes, it is right. What we did up to this point is right. And that now, now, y of s is equal to z of s times y of s, where is y? y is here. y is z of s times this, this new transfer function here, g1 of s over g2 of s. Okay. 
Therefore, y of s, we are going to substitute z of s here. Therefore, y of s is equal to x of s times d2 of s times d1 of s over d2 of s, which is equal to x of s times d1 of s. Okay? As it was before. As it was before. X of s d1 of s and now x of s d1 of s. Then we've proven, we've proven that everything is under control. This move is right, okay? C of S is Y of S plus Z of S. Now let's go to the other move, the, the second move that we can make from this. To simplify this feedback, you can see here that now we have a feedback loop here. Okay? To simplify this feedback loop, we're going to use the following reasoning. Imagine that you have A of S here and B of S here. Okay? Here an output with a feedback loop. And here the error. And here the input. Okay? A feedback loop like this can be simplified as output over the input equal to A of S 1 plus A of S B of S. Okay? This is how we simplify a feedback loop. Okay? We are going to apply this rule here. Okay. Very nice. Easy. Uh, and this loop here, this is not a feedback loop okay this is a feedback loop but this is not a feedback loop how can we simplify this feedback loop uh, this loop here that is not a feedback loop we are going to do the following observe that c of s is equal to z of s plus y of s okay and observe that y of s here, y of s is equal to z of s, g1 of s over g2 of s. Okay? We are going to use this here and we get that c of s is equal to z of s plus z of s g1 of s over g2 of s and the transfer function of this loop here is c of s over z of s equal to 1 plus g1 of s over g2 of s okay this is the simplification of this loop here, which is not a feedback loop like this. Okay, therefore, this here, this uh, block diagram can be rewritten as, it can be rewritten as,
d2 of s over 1 plus d2 of s h of s one plus g1 of s over d2 of s here is the output here is x of s and here is the input okay from this how can we simplify further we are going to multiply this and this, okay? This multiplied by this, all right? So C of S is equal to R of S multiplying G2 of S over 1 plus G2 of S H of S times I multiply this by this and add G1 of S. It's G2 of S plus G1 of S over G2 of S. And here you can simplify this with this and we find the final result. C of S over R of S equal to G1 of s plus g2 of s over 1 plus g2 of s h of s and this is the solution this is the final transfer function okay that we can obtain from the original block diagram okay people let's go now to the second block diagram this is the second exercise. It looks complex, isn't it? But I'm gonna show you, it is rather simple. The first thing that we are going to do is to replace this area by this and this by this, vice versa. Okay, and jump H3 over G1 and G4. Okay? This is the first move that we are going to make. Here, there was a plus minus error, now it is a plus plus error. We put the plus minus error here. And H1 is connected to this feedback loop here. And uh, H3 here we have 1 over G1 now. And it connects to the plus plus error. Okay, and H3 becomes H3 divided by G4 because we are going to connect it here, okay? And H3 becomes H3 over G4.
All right. This is the first move that we can make. And now we will work on these feedback loops here. Here and here. What can we do? First of all, we multiply G1 by G2. Then here it is going to be instead of G1 and G2, it is going to be G1 times G2. Okay? Similarly, we do for this feedback loop. It is going to be G3 times G4. Okay, again, we are going to use the technique that we used in the previous exercise to reduce feedback loops. Whenever we have A of S, B of S in a feedback loop like this, We can use the expression C of S over R of S is equal to A of S 1 plus A of S B of S. We are going to use this technique here and here. to simplify these feedback loops. And then we get that. And also we can multiply here and here. I forgot to mention, but we can do this. We can multiply this by this. And it becomes H3 over G1, G4. All right. Here it becomes, this first feedback loop here becomes the following. G1, G2 over 1 plus G1, G2, H1. And the second feedback loop becomes G3, G4 over 1 plus G3, G4, H2. Okay, looks easier now, looks simpler now, we are going to apply the same technique that I described to you here, okay, we are going to multiply this and this, okay, 
and uh, we obtain the multiplication between this and this. And this multiplication is going to be in a feedback loop with this feedback element here on top. And the final expression, the final expression, if we follow that technique that I described to you, C of S over R of S equal to A1 plus AB, okay? Here, observe that A, A is the multiplication between this and this, okay? The multiplication between and this, this and this will be A. And the B is the feedback element, this here on top. And finally, we have the following expression that's going to summarize it all. Okay, my friends, this is the transfer function of the second exercise, of the block diagram of the second exercise that I wanted to show you. Okay, my friends, it appeared to be difficult, but after some reasoning, you can see that it is rather simple. Okay, my friends, this was the video that I wanted to make. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned from it. I am a teacher. If you want to book a lesson with me, use my WhatsApp number, guys. Goodbye!